Cap in, but I'm gonna do that. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. This is Vincent Company bringing you live coverage of the 2012 Richard Hector Memorial between the accountants and lawyers. Uh, uh, right now, we're just about to have the kickoff. We're having Stuart Crockwell for the referee. Um, and I'm just going to call off some of the players that we're playing today. Uh, we have uh, for the accountants and goalkeeper, Juan. Juan Frederico, the game's just starting. Ball's played back to Jeff Well. Good step over move. By number six. Midfielders just holding possession, just early mojos, and it's a little bubble, and the accountants are quickly to capitalize on it. Good one to link up. Oh, nice and save, that's Mark a, That's a great Mark save by the young, talented lawyer, Mark Daniels. And, uh, it would have been a crime if you let that goal in. <laughs> yes, it, it, it definitely would have been a crime if that goal was let in. Sure. Okay. And also with me working hard today is uh, Kim. Yes, how are you? Kim White with the, uh, with the, the ultimate court of appeal from the referee's decisions here. <laughs> yes, yeah, so we're going to have... The have no bias in me, I can promise you. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to have a good time today, no doubt. And the lawyers are on the move. Victor Roberts is passing off nicely to number three. Good link-up play. And that one's collected by Juan, the accountant goalkeeper. And he dishes this one out to Grant Henderson, number eight. Grant plays for Deloitte when he's not a... Adrian Beasley stopped that ball, Adrian Beasley. Yes, Adrian Beasley wearing that good number 11. Yeah. And this one is just a bit of hold-up play. Nathan Samuels. He has an associate at Marshall, uh, sorry, Mellow Jones and Martin in property, but he moves around the park like he knows what property he owns, doesn't he? My goodness, he does move. Very, very good link-up play so far. I'm very impressed with the discipline of the lawyers. I, I think that's something you would naturally find with the lawyers, who are a very disciplined bunch. Number six uh, has it for the lawyers. Uh, uh, Tristan Hall, young Tristan, is studying law. He's always wanted to be a lawyer, and uh, Shannon Dyer just uh, played it back there to number uh, 10, who's uh, Elliot Hubbard, the well-known cyclist and uh, an associate at Conyers Dillon Pierman, an Olympic cyclist, I believe he was at one point. Certainly so, one of the best cyclists we had. Yeah, these are some adverse conditions, though. The, the heavens have opened up, and they're playing in the rain, but that's not Delton stopping Marco the players from, Marco, from, yes, from, from, number seven, Victor. from being adventurous. Victor Roberts. As this one comes back to the defense and he's harassed, yeah, no, no. he's harassed and tries to take the ball off from him by Russell. Yeah, Russell's quite a talented player for the uh, accountants, isn't he? Yeah, Russell, number seven, he scored the game winner last year. Well, no, actually, the accountants won last year, I have to admit that. But they didn't score the winning goal. Oh, okay. So now you ask yourself, how can the accountants win not scoring the winning goal? I think that sounds like a trivial question. Um, well, there you go. <laughs> but they fiddled with the numbers and they came out ahead. One ah. ahead of the lawyers. Well, let's just hope the accountants don't have the, uh, the book sheet today because uh, there may be some cooking of those books, wouldn't there? That'll be a steward's inquiry for sure. <laughs> <laughs> let's hope that it all leads to fair play today. As Juan collects this one, he's quickly dishing this one out wide. Beasley's on him, though. Very Beasley's good link-up play. Elkinson's there. Breaks up the play. Just there, number six. Showing his skills and experience. Num anticipating where the ball was going. Number eight there, my friend Grant. He, he looked like he wanted to get there that ball, but his legs just wouldn't take him there fast enough. Good throw in, though. And it's played back to Hondo. Ryan there, who is actually an accountant, not a lawyer, who's kindly agreed to pay for the lawyer's side, um, put that into the... Uh, into the uh, other player from the, like his friendly the accountants and they put it out so we get throw in Elkinson and Marco trying to play the ball uh, Elkinson with a bendy foot bend it out out of bounds one thing these players must must be careful with this this wet surface this this artificial surface it it does have a, a, a sort of a strange bounce sometimes so they just want to watch the you know in the first opening minutes of play and, and be a little bit uh just, just watch and see what's happening as the ball comes off the yeah, turf. Lovely bit of play by Jai Canero there, wasn't it? Passing it out there to number three. Uh, very good link up. It's a cross in. Cross. Oh. Ooh. And that He's was... Very good cross there by uh, 
Uh, Shannon Dyer. You can see the lawyers have a, a talented winger here, uh, number four here. Yes. Uh, what's his name? Now, number four is Marco. He's not the tallest chap on the park, but he's a young law student. Um, and, up uh, oh, there we go. Little miss it. That's, I think it's more down to conditions than anything else. It's wet and it's uh, chilly, and um, the ball is squinting around, not quite where you anticipated. Getting the job done. Jeffrey with the throw in, and a good clearance off of that. And let's see if they can capitalize. Okay, to throw in for the accountants. And the accountants the quickly move up the field and look to take advantage of this position that they have as uh, the have them the area. Here we go. some a bounce. Done. chip to nobody. And the ball okay. drops yes, Jeffrey, well go Jeffrey on, Bell go for on. good clearance. Wilkinson. We go. mm -hmm. Well done, Ryan. Ryan, Ryan in there. All right, Marco's got it. Watch his skills. He Marco, is Marco is so confident on the ball, just dribbling around. No one can take the ball off him. Lovely little pass. Good off playmaker. To, uh, number ten finds him open, just has a little That's miscue. Elliot, Elliot takes a good little bit of a uh, combination there. Just didn't pull it off there, but you can see what they're trying to do. They're trying to use their speed, get wide, get the ball in, and 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 see what they can cause troubles with this accounting defense. Yes, they're trying to move the ball between the players. Give the accountants their due, though. They're uh, defending resolutely uh, and um, almost impenetrably. I can say that with uh, a slippery tongue because there's plenty of moisture out here today. Uh, but we're not letting that stop us. It's a beautiful uh, football game that we're going to have. BSN on top of Bermuda Sports and on top of all activity uh, as far as our community. We'd just like to thank all those for watching and staying tuned to Bermuda Sports Network. In the near future, we have a lot of great things and packages coming up. So just stay, stay tuned and I'm sure you're going to enjoy the ride. Let's just talk about what the game is about. It memorializes Richard Hector QC, who was in his day one of the outstanding cricketers uh, of the Caribbean. Uh, he was also, frankly, a first-class athlete. There wasn't a sport he couldn't put his hand to. And on top of all that, he was an absolute gentleman and a real joy to be in court with, whether you're with him or against him. He was a true gentleman and a marvelous practitioner of uh, the cross-examination art. I mean, he was skillful, he was incisive, and always polite. Yes, uh, Richard Hector is a, is a legend in Bermuda, I would say. Um, not just, um, like you said, in the law community, but in the community as a whole. Um, a person who has, has inspired many people to um, join law, or also just to be the better person. Um, real person to, to be able to be a proud to say you've known him. Yes, indeed. It, uh, I remember as a young barrister uh, going into court uh, and watching other young barristers rather like the um, snake and the mongoose, with Richard being the mongoose, <laughs> ready to pounce. I mean, they'd be mesmerized by his, uh, his tactical uh, mastery of, of cross-examination. You know, they, they uh, knew that the uh, axe was going to fall, but not quite sure when. <laughs> as the lawyers get an advantage, and it's a one-on-one -on -one to keep a... What can happen? Oh! Victor Ruppert very coolly slots it in, and now the lawyers have gone up one nothing in the opening segment of play. The full time yet? The, lo the lawyers have pounced on a Hondo miss kick, and it was Victor Roberts, Victor Richards, sorry. Victor Victor Richards, Richards I stand yeah. corrected, yeah. who calmly Johnny slotted Johnny. the ball past Juan, the goalkeeper for the accountants. So that's one nothing, lawyers. Zero to accountants. Let's see if the accountants can respond and put some numbers on the board. Well, the lawyers seem to have had most of the play so far in the, the accountants' half, haven't they? Yeah, All right, the the Marco's got to throw in for the lawyer. Try and take a quick one. Gave it over to Jeffrey Elkinson, who sends up to Ryan, to Marco. Marco back to uh, uh, Tristan, Tristan Hall. There we go, Marco again. A little bit of skill there. Look at that. Wow. He is gifted. Not afraid, not afraid of the bigger, bigger chaps at all. Here come the accountants. And here we go as the uh, counters look to spring a quick counterattack, but this Marco, he just keeps popping up all over the field, that time in defense. Jeffrey Elkinson with a good clearance, but it, it just took a turn and fell to our accountant favorably, Phil. And there you go again, Tristan Hall kindly and, and getting in there and getting the ball away. That's good defense, but it, it comes to the accountants. I'm a five there. As we have our... Uh, Documentation getting soaked here. We're in, we're in as well as the announcers. <laughs> <laughs> and this one is uh, kick ricochets off one of the uh, lawyer players and it goes out of bounds. Let's, let's see what these accountants can do and, and conjure up now. As this thrown is by Steve Westwood. 
This one goes in. Beasley, Beasley. Beasley clears his lines. And the ref spots an infringement, and I believe that's going to be a free kick just on the edge of the penalty area. So let's see if the accountants can conjure up a score and draw one back for their team. The lawyers have set up their wall. They've got four men in the wall. Uh, Mark Daniels is shouting out his lawyers what he wants his wall to do. As he checks, uh, we have... Looks like Hondo setting over the ball. There's a few accountants in the area of the ball, but I think they know who's going to kick it. The ref blows his whistle. Let's see what happens. Ooh. Ooh. A and rocket. I, yeah, I don't, I don't think that was off by too much. Well, you know, like a skyrocket. Up she went, and where she goes, nobody knows. <laughs> well, I tell you, if, if they keep giving these uh, accountants free kicks on the edge of the box, one of those rockets may just land in the back of Mr. Up in our face. <laughs> there you go. So we're going to just uh, hope that the, uh, this game keeps its, its edginess to it. We see the accountants are trying to make, make an adjustment and try to put some pressure back on the lawyers um, after that early uh, goal from the number uh, very talented player uh, seven Victor Richards Victor Richards and so let's let's see what happens from this goal kick uh, Mark Daniels it's not not windy today but it's just wet which may have an effect on everything and this this falls favorably to the accountants seven with a good with a good opportunity I know he will want that one back Russell Smokesley the uh, the debatable goal scorer from last year's um, game uh, would definitely want that back. And here goes another Faber who bounced, comes right to Kieran. Kieran isn't able to find his player. Tristan Hall yep. somehow comes up with it. Yep. He's looking for a great ball. Up. Look at that. And okay. it just, a little long, a little long. just, just out of reach for the number nine player. Ryan, there. Ryan. That's Ryan there. Uh, Ryan. Is it a count? And, kind of playing for lawyers. and Ryan is one of the accountants who have uh, just joined uh, the, the lawyers in the, in the friendliness of the game because they were short a few men. Here we see uh, the defense of the, the lawyers being very, very stout. Marco again, three men, doesn't phase him. He just finds an open space and plays it out to Ben Beasley. Beasley being helped and, and hurried by the number two. John. And this one is sent up the field. Lawyers looking to relieve some pressure. Elliot Hubbard, Hubbard just sends that one in, and I think it was a foul throw, so now it's turned over to the accountants. Tristan Hall, not that again. Tristan Hall quickly recovered, but it just comes off his foot and goes out of touch, so he's going to have to take that again for the accountants. Yep, Good move on the defense to see where that ball was going. And, and this Tristan one falls. Tristan's, Tristan's getting a good ball there. Yes, he passed it across to try to get it to Marco, but it was intercepted by the accountants. The accountants are taking it up, looking for space on the right-hand side here, but no, out, out of bounds. Sam Butler just running out of space, or did he? he did, no, Sam but Butler he, did get to it. He did. Uh, he did get to it. No touch judge. That's just uh, be kind and say there was no touch judge there. He didn't want to wait, waste time throwing the ball back in, just carried on playing. Exactly. Let, let's see what can develop. Can these accountants peg one goal back? early and keep this game on its edge as they work the ball in the space and that's Kieran again working his magic down the flank and they've won a corner there we go so that ball, is, that ball is heavy and wet and this is a very good attacking uh, spell here by the accountants they've linking up they've, they're getting a little bit more organized and they look threatening don't they Kim yes they do these last 10 minutes have all gone their way virtually big lofted corner nobody there to take it uh, number three for us, looking to clear. Three takes it. Number that's Shannon Dyer, of course. Number three to seven. Oh, Victor uh, 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 Richards can't get it. Intercepted by Sam. Yep. Beasley's trying to stop the ball, but it slips through. But the goalie's got it. The goalie's got it with some good support there by number fourteen, Nathan Samuels. So so far is nail biting action, and I think that's the best kick Mark Daniels has done so far today. Finding his stride. Finding his stride. Yeah, the, the wet, the wet weather's not being kind to Mr. Daniels. Wow, lovely bit of skill there by Tristan. Lovely bit of skill by Tristan Hall. Out to Marco. Will he go around him? And he almost does. Oh, good defense by the accountants. Good job by Hondo there. And there's my friend John. John's on his way, on his races. And Ben oh, Beasley. Good one, Ben. Gives one of those John Terry-looking tackles. 
And I believe uh, Ben does have a Chelsea jersey underneath his shirt. He's an so, ardent fan. So he's blue all the way. And what an opportunity. It just seemed like the lawyer's defense went to sleep for a moment. And, and they almost got pegged back. Well, we have a force field over that goal net. And uh, don't need the goalie at all. Just uh, the counts just can't get through. Well, I tell you, there, there are some powers um, that the lawyers do have. But uh, we'll, I'll leave that one open to debate. <laughs> I hear you. <laughs> All right, big kick by Ben. So now, the ball up the field. seems like Ben has taken over the goal kick duties, and, but uh, the results are the same so far. Justin carrying. Oh, oh smart, smart reverse pass. Number six. Yep, Marco. Marco there. Very good move. Tristan. Ryan. Ryan now looking to go to uh, Mark. Oops, no. Kanza got it. Turned it around. Looking to control the ball, but there's a little bit of difficulty there. Still there in the attack, looking to send the ball through the middle. And uh, Ryan gives it to Jeff Elkinson. Elkinson looking to park it up the park. And here's Kieran again. And Kieran's got it. And Marco didn't get it off him. Coming to oh, big, big hit. Oh, there, nice little bit of skill there. Good. And it's a corner. And, a and happily uh, given away corner instead of a goal. <laughs> I tell you, that fourth field, uh, their goal is going to be put under pressure. The accountants are really starting to link up. You see Kieran and Sam Butler getting into the game very nicely. Um, also John, number two, getting into the game very nicely. So these accountants are starting to come up with a plan. And the plan is, is it going to come to fruition? Good clearance there. Ben and Dyer sending it up the park a bit, but the accountants have got it. And they send it into the, into the box. Big header and a volley Ooh. on the full, as they say. S Steve. Steve Westwood there, number nine for the accountants. Uh, he was quoted as the Ryan Giggs of his team. Um, I don't know if he's won that many trophies or they're just closest in age, but that was what they were covered as saying. So we'll, we'll, just, we'll just pass that on to the viewers to let them know the, the team uh, history as we have this goal kick about to be taken. And they've definitely relieved Mark Daniels of goal kick duties, which is, gives them less to focus uh, a on. smart move, saving him for the second half. Indeed, indeed. Nice, nice kick by Beasley and uh, out by the accountants, so throw in by the lawyers, taken by number 10, who is uh, Elliot Hubbard. Elliot Hubbard's being busy on that side. He's got another throw in now. Here comes Elliot, see so if he can get a little more distance. Throw it without being foul. Now the accountants intercept, and they're off with the ball. Here we go, nice little pass. Karen, can Karen find his legs for this one? Good stop, good first touch. Looks for his man. Marco's got it to Ryan. Ryan looking to feed 14 forward. Um, and Can he oh, get there? Oh, there we go. A bit of a foot race, but the goalie's got it. Uh, 14, Nathan Samuels uh, running from one end of the field to the other. And very good work there, Nathan. Okay, Jeffrey Elkinson's got the ball. Looks around the... Uh, good first touch. The, and off the uh, cams. Uh, throw in by the lawyers. Jeff Elkinson takes it to Marco. Marco controls the ball. Still in control of the ball. There you go. Raf, Raf, Raf. Thank you, sir. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Well done, Marco. Marco is simply unstoppable when he gets the balls, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. It doesn't matter if four people on him, 10, 11, bring extra men. He just can't be taken down unless you trip him. So that's what the accountants have figured out. Free kick, Free kick for the lawyers. Jeffrey Elkerson to take it. Good swirling ball. Oh, that off the head. Nice one, Ryan. Nice one. And the ref calls an infraction on the... Lawyers that time being on the wrong side of the law. Yes. <laughs> and now we've got the accountants trying to add a point. This one kick ricochets and it falls to Tristan Hall. Tristan uh, lost it, but he's got it back again. Uh, he's got great skills on his feet, doesn't he? Look at that. Wonderful. Very, very strong on the ball. Uh, here we go. There's a put of a foot race. Go on, Ryan from the lawyers chasing up. Chasing down to, to the uh, goalkeeper who safely gets it away to his uh, left back. Elkinson intercepts, keeps the ball in play. Lovely first touch by Elkinson. And ball's out. Marco to take the throw in. No, there we go. Um, it's going to be Jai Chanero. 
I mean, for lawyers and, and, and accountants, this game has got a lovely pace about it, Kim. Well, they're, they're, uh, they're actually playing with some verve, aren't they? they Reminds me that game of the weekend. What was that game at the weekend? Some, some little game for some little club called Chelsea and um, uh, Bayern Bar 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 Munich? Bar yeah, yeah, like something. the aspirin, Bayern Bar Munich? Yeah, yeah, I believe, I believe <laughs> it was something of that nature. I don't know if they're going to have a big trophy with big ears after this one, though. Uh, we're going to ha have a big trophy and a, and, a, and a good party after this. The uh, lawyers and accountants know how to party, and we'll be down at... Uh, uh, what's that uh, place called? Uh, yes, Ferraris down there, uh, celebrating the bruises <laughs> and the pulled hamstrings and the bumps and the grinds and, and, and the stories about the one that I almost got will get bigger and longer. <laughs> I'll tell you what, the bragging rights are definitely on stake today. Absolutely. Um, earlier, the odds for the lawyers were three to one to win, but it seems they've uh, took those odds as an insult. Beautiful corner taken, uh, headed in by, head in direction of the goal by uh, young Tristan, but unfortunately the ball's been out. Gatton's got a lovely bit of attack going on on the left wing. Left winger uh, controlling the ball, looking for some support. Lovely Fine, back. Sam links up good, his touch just a bit heavy. And that was looking so promising. Yes, it was indeed. Uh, Mark Daniels started to look like he was sweating, or is that just rain off his brow? Uh, maybe a combination of both. <laughs> At this point in time, no matter where you are, no matter who you are, if you're out here at BAA, you're enjoying yourself, but you're getting wet while you do it. I call it an early shower. I don't mind that. I don't mind that at all. A pre-shower. Pre-shower, that's true. <laughs> now you, you and I have both done rugby matches where it's been a lot heavier rain than this. <laughs> yes, rugby, uh, rugby is very exciting. and. Uh, you just want to give a shout out to all those lovely people that enjoy the uh, rugby Bermuda versus Cayman game at the uh, National Stadium on the weekend. And uh, congratulations to Bermuda. This falls favorably to the accountants. And just like that, off a, a foul throw for the lawyers, it falls favorably. Quickly to pounce on that was number six, Sam Butler. And he hit it home right past Mark Daniels. Didn't have a chance, did he? Well, Mark rushed off his line to try and get the ball in time, but he was actually hopelessly outpaced by the skill of uh, Mark, uh, the, what was it, Sam? Sam, there you go, Sam the accountant, who took his number and uh, checked it off. I heard that. So that's 1-1 one, one now. The accountants have played with the books and put something up on tally. So it's 1-1 one, one now. The accountants leveling now. Um, just a few minutes, about 20 minutes to halftime here. So let's see what we can do. Let's see how this game uh, develops now. Uh, the lawyers have brought on a substitute, number 22 and uh, number 12 up in the front, uh, Chris Way, who's actually an accountant, also kindly playing for the lawyers to make up a slide. Hmm. So he, um, he just came in contact with the ball and sent the ball to the lawyer's end. <laughs> <laughs> the accounts are, are playing well, but the Tristan Hall's got the ball now, sending forward, looking to send Victor uh, Richards forward, but no. Counts interfere with that little play plan. Uh, 14 is, uh, is uh, Nathan Samuels, who's got a very good skills. I'm very impressed with Nathan's skills. I think Nathan, in fact, used to play uh, in one of the first class uh, teams here on, locally in the island. Oh, excellent. And also at university. Yeah. Well, I can see his first touch in his football brain is good. Here's Sam Butler, though, again. He's looking for something to do. And he passed this one lovely out in a lot of space finds. Hondo, he's close to back post. And there's no one there. That one just went across the six-yard box, begging to be headed in. But uh, fortunately, there wasn't no one on the end of that one. Here are the accountants. Plenty of space for Sam Butler. I wouldn't want to give him that much space. No, I agree with you there. The defense of the lawyers are looking a bit ragged. They're a bit slow. And, um, well, they're probably chilled by this cold rain. Um, yeah, yeah, just the rain in the, in the last sort of five minutes has just picked up. And... Uh, I, it hasn't bothered, bothered the accountants. It seems to only have affected the lawyers. So let's see if they can adjust to this. Well, accountants are well known in being a cold-blooded lot, and the lawyers being hot-tempered and war of warm blood. This is very adverse to the playing conditions for the lawyers to play under. <laughs> well, I, I tell you, uh, these lawyers and these accountants are giving us a very delightful match so far. Plenty of energy, plenty of skill, and so far plenty of good football to come. Stay tuned. Here we go. They're sending it up towards the goal. Ryan trying to control it for the lawyers. Cannes get under control. Sent it beautifully up to the uh, uh, left wing, but uh, Elkinson intercepts that. 
So Chris Way for the lawyers. There goes Tristan Hall now. Tristan to Marco. Marco looking to weave around uh, the defender, and he does successfully. Looking to send it to the center for someone there, but no. And they get a corner out of it, however. A nice corner. The last corner was a beautiful, uh, beautifully struck by young Marco. Sent it floating beautifully into the box where the header was not quite successful. Let's see if they can make better use of that good ball this time. The accountants have got everybody back. They got Mark Hamplin back. They got Hondo back. Let's see what they can do. This one comes in and I seems to have come off the lawyer player, so that would be a accountant goal kick. So Juan will kick this one out. And the accountants march up the field to try to gain advantage. This one is played wide to the Ryan Giggs of the accountants team, and he lofts this one up high just coming over the side and Sam Butler trying to take advantage of his man on that side there and Nathan and keeping control Nathan not giving him an ounce of space Steve Woodward over there working very well Gordon Coxey number four for the accountants there's Gordon with a good touch good touch on Foles first touch wasn't too good but he corrects it number six Looking for a guy, find some space, and just Mark Daniels almost made a bit of a hash of it. No, 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 no. He was just getting them all excited, the accountants, and showing that he had the situation completely under control, causing them to expend far more energy than they needed to on a hopeless situation. Very, very well explained. Thank you, my good sir, Kim. Phew, thank God he caught it. <laughs> and here we go with the lawyers quickly looking for the counterattack. And Dyer leading a uh, foot race. Oh, just collected in time by the keeper. Gives it out to his left uh, back. Controls the ball, looking for space. Sees and spots someone. There we go. Sends it up to the left side. But the lawyers control it now. 14. There we go. Number 14. Nathan Samuels again, looking to talk to Elliot Hubbard there. Send it back to Elliot. Elliot sends it back to Samuels. And however, the ball's gone four. The accounts have got a control. Three on two. Looking to send it up. Four on two. Here we go. The lawyer. Ah. Adrian Beasley Favorite gives a good bounce thump. to Coxie. There we go. And uh, there we go. Well intercepted by Jeff Elkinson. Marco is free. Ah, oh. uh, no, just chipped there. But Chris Way gets it. Elkinson looks to send it forward to Ryan, who bounces over his head. But he still controls and comes away with the ball. Protects it well. Sends uh, Chris Way forward. Way looking to send Marco, send Marco on the uh, right, left wing here. Sorry. Uh, to Chris and to Chris to Marco, no, unsuccessfully, but there was a shot on goal. And there we go from uh, one. the accountant. See, Juan, the accountant, sends it into touch. And Very Wilkinson good. Wilkinson runs quickly to. He does. Yeah, he does indeed. He needs to need a darker suntan, that's all. <laughs> Maybe we could cut that fringe a little bit. Too. There you go, yes. Okay, intercepted by the accountants, however. Tristan gets the ball back. And there we go. Unfortunately, it balls out. Accountants throw him. Sam Butler uh, doing some very good work up there. Yes, he is. They give them their due. There's some great skills being displayed by the accountants. You know, they work so hard, the accountants, that, uh, and doing all their auditing and consulting work, etc. They very rarely get a chance to train. But they still have those skills, and uh, we'll see how they, how long they last in the second half. Speaking about training, they were training for about 40 minutes before the game. Well, I was actually quite concerned they wouldn't make it to the opening whistle. They were exp expending so much energy. Yeah, they were running and doing shuttles. It was, it was very, uh, very a uh, good workout. In fact, the lawyer's secret weapon is the second half. The accounts will be completely exhausted. And <laughs> we'll be able, they'll walk and we'll run. <laughs> well, we, we can't wait to see that. The lawyer's secret weapon is... Just been a little bit let out of the bag by my, my co-commentator, but that's okay. Still has to be shown on the field. And this ball falls kindly to number six. Jeez. And it was begging to oh, hit home. God. <laughs> Sam Butler will rue that chance, I'm sure. That force field, I tell you, that force field's working. <laughs> it's repelling all accountants' attempts at um, getting through. I must say, though, the accountants do seem to be linking up well, but that final ball, that final touch in front of goal has let them down more times than not. Well, I prefer to think of it as saving the lawyers <laughs> from being put to the skewer. <laughs> yeah, the, the, the accountants could have a few more, but it's still all yeah, in the Marco, balance. Marco's away. He's James, away. James, the, uh, and he's the, the manager, looking to center the ball. There's right. Oh, a little bit too long, unfortunately. 
but they're still there, chasing it down. Ryan controls it for the lawyers, and there's Richards uh, gets the ball, tries to squeeze it through to Chris Way. Ryan's still on the ball there, but they uh, send it into uh, into the uh, touch. So, but I think it was off uh, Ryan, so it's a accountant's throw in. They take it to the left back. He looks to send it up the field and pops it forward to the center. Sets free number 18 for the accountants. Nope. Uh, lost that one. Marco's got the ball now. He's got uh, number three, Richards, looking to take it into the penalty box. Looking, looking to uh, dances around the account defender. Right there to Beasley and Beasley and no, Chris Way, sorry. Chris Way uh, sends it into. Um, no, he didn't. Actually, it was off the accountant. And they, they to their credit, awarded, awarded a, a corner to the lawyers. Well done, the accountants. Well known for their probity. See Big Ben Beasley walking up from, from the ben. back. Yeah, looking to put his heading skills into play. Definitely a threat in the air. Let's see what happens. There. Oh, it's, it's just past him. There, oh, it's in the center. Oh, 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 oh. Cleared off the line. Three hits. Four hits. Big Be Beasley. Beasley. And it's in. It's got to be. <laughs> oh, my God. Every Use your hands if you have to. <laughs> Everywhere but in the net. I don't know how the lawyers didn't score there. They seem to be given as many chances as you like by the accountants. They even been given another corner. Let's see if this one comes of air. This ball sent in with pace and it's lovely, dipping. Lovely, lovely little corner from Marco. But the, the ball's free, looking for Elkinson to send it through the ground, looking account sending it back up. Elkinson yet again controlling the ball. The counts have got it, however. Looking there's no one the back. Right side. Yes, right. Here we go, but next. Hondo working hard. Yep. There we go. Well, just goes out of touch. That was and good work by Jake Zatino for the lawyers who kept on him and forced him to make that play and send the ball into touch. <clears throat> so far, th this game is right on this edge. The accountants and lawyers are not giving any ground. It's all got to be earned on this pitch out here at the BAA field. We thank BAA for their field and for us letting us use their facility. And it's a wonderful game up to their standards. Indeed, it's indeed. This is a, a hallowed field, BAA. Um, storied, in fact. I remember used to play here as a child myself, the BAA Greens. We used to play against Somerset Cricket Club and call it a victory when the score was 25-1. <laughs> For some reason, a cricket club. <laughs> <laughs> I, I've heard of that last girl wins, isn't it? What? <laughs> <laughs> so, so I, it got it, it got so tiring after a while. We just kept the ball in the center. <laughs> <laughs> well, I tell you, sometimes you gotta uh, make your plan as you go in the game. <laughs> and right now, let's see if the accountants have a plan to get another goal on this lawyers team who have a lot of talent but haven't been unlocking the accountants as they would have liked. Go, Tristan Hall with a lovely ball, oh, Ricky. Lovely little flick, flick through ball. by Ryan, looking to uh, send it to uh, Marco, but uh, unlucky, but still showing some skill, skill set. Good throw. Foot race. Ben, ben Beasley, Beasley ushering, uh, and it falls kindly. <laughs> Sam. The ref doesn't hear the protest of Sam. Falls on Chris, deaf ears. Chris Wade for the lawyer, sending it forward, trying to free up Marco, who is free in the penalty box. Marco with a good first touch. Oh, lovely look. There we go. Number and three for Trist the second goal. Is that Tristan? That, no, no. That's uh, number three is uh, Shannon Richards. Mm. Shannon Richards on the end of that. Sorry, Shannon Dyer. My mistake. Shannon Dyer on the end of that. Marco, I think the ball might have just been fingertipped. Save. Could it, uh, could it, it was, was it? It was, no. it was very close. Very close. Very Good close. Effort, but he, he cleaned it up very well, yeah. came to the back post, and now it's lawyers two, accountants one. Can't have much left in this half. Dying moments of this, of this half. What a time to score for the lawyers. Yes, it's um, <laughs> well, well needed because the accounts are actually starting to flow, and they're putting together lovely crystal series of passes, moving the ball up the field, into space. Uh, here we go, a little errant uh, pass there. Marco is showing his skill sets, keeping his feet in, 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 in the face of trips. And yep, yep, there we go. The ref tried to do the play on there. Yep. One thing about Marco, he, he could never play in the Barclays Premier League because you're supposed to dive when someone uh, touches you, aren't you? No, he, uh, he is a true sportsman and he kept his feet because he could keep his feet. Yeah, he's, I, not, he's not, a, he's not a, a, an actor. No, <laughs> not by any uh, stretch of the imagination. 
uh, so far the counters are ruining the missed opportunities which they had and uh, I must say that girl did come a bit against the, the bit of play it, hasn't it? it was against the flow of play for the last 10 minutes that's very true but very nicely put together by Marco and uh, young uh, Mr. Uh, Dyer very nice bit of footballing skill displayed there not to say that uh, the lawyers don't always look dangerous when they're up there, but the uh, accountants were just a better team over the last 10, 15 minutes, like you were saying, Kim. But uh, when you miss those opportunities, it costs you. It costs you. Here's another corner goal, uh, corner uh, kick uh, at goal for uh, the lawyers. The this? defendant, the accountant defendant, had to send it into the back. And here we go. Nice little lofted, lovely little header, but just misses the uh, goal mouth by a foot or two. I don't know, Kim. To me, it looks like the accountants are just starting to put their heads down just a little bit. Well, you know, I did warn them about that 40 minutes of exercise before the first whistle. That's, you know, there's only so much gas in the tank. <laughs> it's, uh, who listens uh, out of accountants and lawyers more? Do accountants listen to lawyers or do lawyers listen to accountants? The accountants listen to no one. We all know that. <laughs> I, but the truth be told, lawyers don't listen. Either. Oh, a little bit of, little bit of skill there, trying to. Uh, no, he, he referee says play on, play on. So this is the battle of the know-it-alls, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> One of the most exciting things to see is an accountant being cross-examined by a lawyer. <laughs> I'll have to uh, put that on my bucket list, Kim. <laughs> yes. It's uh, it's scintillating. I mean, it's dry. It's um, <laughs> it's penetrating. It's oh, and did the keeper get it? Well done, the keeper. Lovely bit of chase down there by number three, uh, Nathan Samuels. However, the keepers are trying to look for some space. And here he goes, big, big foot, sends it high into the sky. I think it's going to bounce out there. Juan, uh, the keeper for the accountants, uh, works for KPMG. He uh, hasn't done too much wrong this, this, this opening half, but he finds himself 2-1 two, two, down, um, much to his misfortune. I think his defense has let him down a bit um, at crucial moments. Yes, I, I think that's right. He's, he's actually he's quite a good keeper. He's on, uh, uh, active and he's got a good foot. Uh, the uh, defense here for lawyers has been called into play. Oh, but careful now, lads. Uh, the account's got it back. Here we go. He's got uh, one man in the box looking to center the ball. And there's another man there, the second man on the outside, looking to send the ball back towards the keeper. It's high in the air, but it's over the, over the bar. Over the bar. Once again, that force field is still intact. Gordon Cox, number four, just couldn't pull that one back. Uh, and in, in the space, in a good space for maybe Sam Butler or Hondo to run onto that and, and probably get an opportunity. But the accountants are still going at it. Something, something happened down there. A little miss kick, and let's see if the accountants can take advantage. Yes, yeah, so here they go, looking, they're looking hands up, calling for the ball. Beautifully centered, but uh, Alkinson has his head on it. Sends the ball forward. Marco sends it to Tristan. Tristan's in control of the ball by himself, but he's looking for some, some support. He's being chased by two, still has the ball, looking to play, lay the ball off. And he does to uh, young Nathan Samuels, who's looking to send the ball to Richards in the box. Uh, Chris Way is there, but uh, there we go. Nice little bit of control there by uh, Santano, who tries to weave around. But no, Tristan, my goodness, he is, he is very gifted with his feet. All, uh, all of them trying to send the ball back out. Marco with, with that tall header of his. Um, sends it to Tristan, Tristan to 13, who is, uh, 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 Santero, Santero, um, Jay Santero. And uh, the keeper again collects the ball and looks to throw it well up to Park, freeing his right winger to um, send, no, sorry, left winger. It's the other right, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's the goal scorer there, John Smoltzky. Yeah, he let him go and try and get his second goal, but not to be. A lot of talking. As we uh, just get into this part of the game where I think the next goal can really, really have a determine on who wins this game. Oh! <laughs> and that is putting your mouth on it, if I may say so, sir. A lovely bit of uh, skill, driving ball to the uh, right side of the net, escaping the keeper, Mark Daniels, taking the score to two all. Sam Butler hitting that one low and hard in the far post. And... Uh, I think there was little Daniels could do about that. He would have saw that one late, came out of the crowd. He was fully stretched. And he was fully stretched, and it just nestled in the back of the goal. Very, very educated strike. I would call it picking the, picking the lock. He, he knew where the spot was, and he slotted it beautifully. All credit to the Kansas. A beautiful goal. Very beautiful goal. So the score is now level now. 
they it's a pity he was offside when he took it, but I mean that's that's another story entirely. We'll we'll consider on the appeal. <laughs> <laughs> Lawyers always uh, got a plan B, <laughs> and we can't we can't we can't expect anything else even on the football field. Um, number sixteen, Pete Roby for the accountants, uh, a auditor, um, settling the books at that time, and Marco quickly uh, kicks that one out off the uh, number eight player there. Coxie flicks that one on. Ben Beasley makes sure that girl's out of play. And they try to find Smotsky. He's goal scorer. Yeah, he's scored. Oh, nice one. And back Smotsky flick. full uh, of tricks. Yeah, Ref's a, not going to hear that. that. No, that was a handball, but he didn't see it. So you can only go by the whistle. So play on. Um, so the ball went out. Throw in a game by the accountants. Free of the man there. He's moving quickly. No one on him. Come That's on, Elkinson. Elkinson breaks it up. There he was, now up here to uh, Nathan Samuels, therefore Chris Way. Chris Way knocks it back. Tristan Hall's got the ball, looking to send Marco forward. Marco's got it. Dribbles, try, going to yeah, dribble around, does dribble around his uh, opponent. My goodness, is he quick on his feet? Chris Way sends him forward, but a little bit long, unfortunately. Sends the ball into touch. So Marco awesome. left Grant Henderson for dead there on this corner of this line. It's absolutely amazing, the footwork. Is this guy a salsa dancer in this after Laura's school? I don't know, but he is. He is a got fast player. feet, man. He's really got good. fast feet. I'm so impressed with him, young Marco and young Tristan and their skills. Here we go. The ball is uh, out. Headed out by Coxie there. So right now, you get ahead. They give us a credit. You know, double entry bookkeeping. The counts are good for it. Only on BSN can you learn a little bit about the game, a little bit about education, and, and a little accounting, all in one good wrapped up package. <laughs> <laughs> Terrific atmosphere as we have uh, a few spectators just around there hiding in little spots and sitting in cars. But it's a good atmosphere. The players are being honest and giving us a very, very entertaining game. And we're really enjoying this. A full foot volley by Elkinson to send it up the center, but the account sent it back out. A foot race developing. Elliot Hubbard there getting getting to the ball. Oh, quite a battle. He was pushed over, I do believe. Referee agrees with me quite correctly. Mr. Stuart Crockwell is our referee. Well-known uh, referee in the uh, BFA. I believe. Well-known and versed with the law as well, he, uh, being a former policeman. <laughs> and a uh, little lovely little flick back over the head by Chris Way. Sending the ball forward, but no one there to receive it. The accountant's uh, goalie collects the ball and is looking to send the ball. Looks like he may be trying to send it to the left side. There's a big hand over here for number four for the accountants. Yeah, Stuart Crock, we may want to have an interview with him later uh, after that tackle. Yes, yeah, indeed. <laughs> uh, he obviously found that to be an infraction and a breach of the uh, rules of conduct of the noble game of football. You know, football is a game, they say, is a, is a gentleman's game played by ruffians. Rugby is a ruffian's game played by gentlemen. But having watched these footballers out here, I don't see a ruffian amongst them. They're all gentlemen. They're wonderful people. Look at them go. Number seven, Nathan Samuels trying to get around. There we go. Come on. Ah, and they're good. Marco's got it. Then back to Chris Way, to Tristan. Tristan to Marco. Marco just pivots on his feet. So gifted. And there we go. And, oh, and we get another corner. Thank you very much. He let the uh, accountants play with it, and they played it right out of the park. So now we have Marco with his trusty... Right foot is going to swing in one of those pacey dipping corners that he does so well. Let's see what can form from this corner kick. This one comes up, falls a little shorter than he would have wanted, but it's cleared one time by Coxie, the big, tall, burly accountant uh, there in the middle, and he gets that one out, and they're going to reset and set up for another corner. All As the lawyers, a, big men are forward. You got Adrian ben, Beasley looking there. You got uh, Tristan. You've got uh, a little bit long that, but there we go. Ah, it's at the keeper. Well collected by the keeper. Lovely header uh, from uh, number seven, I believe, Victor Richards. And this Wilkinson chasing the ball, but the accounts have got it. Looking for a little support coming up from the left, the right side. That's Pete Roby crosses and he finds an inch perfect pass. Tristan breaks it up for the lawyers and sends it uh, forward to Nathan Samuels uh, and then, sorry, Victor Richards, sorry. And then, and then uh, here we go, number 11. Uh, That's Clem. Adrian Beasley. And look at, here he comes, uh, Nathan Samuels. Yeah, there we go. Lovely through ball to the keeper having to come off his line, send the ball forward. Jeff Elkinson hustles to watch the ball go to touch and it's a throw in for the lawyers. But that forced the keeper off his line. We're starting to probe a little bit more. It's a, some enterprising passing, 
speculative in some nature, however. The game is really opening up yeah, now, it isn't is. it, Ken? It is. <laughs> They're getting tired. <laughs> <laughs> and that's, that's, the that's the end of the half. So your goal scores for the first half are uh, Sam Butler. We've also had two goals scored by the lawyers. And we had uh, Victor Richards scored the first one. And the second one was scored by um, Shannon Dyer, I believe. And Pete Roby uh, equalizing for the accountants just, just about five minutes before the halftime interval. So at halftime, it's 2-2. Lawyers accountants all to play for in the second half. Don't go nowhere. This game is just starting.